Hello, welcome back to Danganronpa V3. Oh God! What right. you're seeing now is live footage of the sky from our camera at the I scene. I don't. Well, you we're off to a great see the meteors raining down. We are witnessing what looks like the end of the world. This is not a movie. I repeat, this is not a movie. This is live, unedited footage. This is real. The sky is falling before our very eyes. We've just been notified that the government has officially declared a state of emergency. Is this the catastrophe that... Subway stations have been opened as shelters. That... that Kurumi was the talking about. The government is instructing citizens to remain calm and evacuate to their nearest shelter. Children and invalids are to be given first priority. Okay. Transfer soon from beyond the grave. But yeah, we had to say goodbye to Kurumi last time, and... I'll tell you what. Anakuma's executions just seem to be getting more brutal and fucked up as, as we keep going along, aren't they? It was the day after the second class trial. We all headed to Maki's lab on the third floor of the school building. And awaiting us there was an unexpected sight. Ooh. Come on, man. What the heck is this? It's like weapon warehouse. Yeah, and then we got this. Um Kokichi drops us the bomb that that Maki is not who she said she is. Rather than the ultimate child caregiver, is she the ultimate assassin? It's like weapon warehouse. Right? See, I told you she's not the ultimate child caregiver. She's the ultimate assassin. Maki is the ultimate assassin. Is that all right? Kokichi, you learned that from the motive video, right? Monokuma said everyone's talent at the beginning of their video. Ryoma knew Maki's true identity because she had her motive video. Because he had her motive video. And because you saw that... Mm -hmm. I knew the whole time, given my position, I'd obviously know before any of you, right? If he is, again, being leader of an evil organization. Huh? Your position. Ah. Oh, don't worry about it. That was a lie. <laughs> anyway, her reaction yesterday pretty much gave away that she's the ultimate assassin. Yeah, you can probably snap my neck like a twig right now. But that's not your style. Y you would rather kill from the shadows. Right, Miss Ultimate Assassin? Hmm. But why ever did she lie about being the ultimate child caregiver? Because <laughs> assassins hide to do all their killing. Well, she's right there th about that. If people find out they're assassins, they get all cautious and they can't kill anyone. It can't be. Did she hide her real identity because she was planning to kill us? Hmm. But then, why hasn't she killed anyone yet? She has had many opportunities to do so. I'm disappointed. Jeez, robots can't even understand human feelings, let alone a girl's heart. How rude! Please take back what you just said. I too... I can too understand human feelings. Listen closely. But I'm still in the process of collecting data. Please, give me data. Please! Right? If you're so worried, why don't you ask her? She's been holed up in a room all day. But I can't promise that she won't try to kill you like she tried to do to me. <laughs> Good thing everyone was there to stop her, but what about next time? Best let sleeping gods lie. <laughs> the talent of a killer. That is the biggest threat to all of us who wish to survive. Hey! Let's just lock her up somewhere so she can't kill anyone. I'll leave that to you, Gonta. Huh? Huh? But... Got it! I'll help, too. I don't want another killing to happen. Wait! Wait, you don't have to take it that far. It's not like she's trying to kill us. Sneak attack! A sneak attack is the way to go. We have to strike before she does. Hit her from behind! Um... A sneak attack? Strike before she does? Should an Aikido master be saying those things? It'll be okay. If that's the case, then Atua and I will work with everyone to uphold the peace. That's fine. 
If so, then I'll cheer you on. I'll use my magic to pull pom-poms out of my mouth. Wow! That kind of peppy cheer magic would make anyone excited. Don't worry about it. Hold on, guys. Leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. <sighs> hmm. Ultimate assassin, my ass. Always messing around. Huh? Kaido, don't do anything stupid. Okay. Let's leave everything to Kaido. You get it? Gonta, you should stand back. Nothing good ever happens when you try to help. Huh? This is this guy? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, don't, don't, don't get all gullible with him again, Gonta. Come on, man. Gonta, like I told you, a man shouldn't apologize so easy. Huh? Oh, what, what do you want? Oh, I don't need everyone's usual reactions. Time's a bit of a factor here. Monokuma! Everyone, get behind Gunta! Miko, get behind me. I'll surround you with my body to keep you safe. I just said I don't need your usual reactions! It's almost halftime, so the stats should be out soon for everyone to obsess over. And since you guys overcame the class trial, I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. Whatever it is, we don't want it. I said, I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. How about you take that prize, shine it up, turn it sideways, and stick it right up your candy bare ass. Huh? My adorable little cubs aren't coming. That's strange. Just had to say that. They're finally here! Yay, you're all, you're so cute today, it's practically obscene. Seriously? Just wow, you guys are seriously cute. Have you guys always been this cute? The shock of my super cute kid seems to be making me go bald! But oh my god! <laughs> like in patches! What the shit? He's actually balding. Gross! I'm cold. Very cold. Hey, my cute little cubs, could you hurry up and give them the prize? It's too cold. I can't stand it. Hurry, I want to go somewhere warm. What's wrong? Why aren't you backing me up? Other, we are not your slaves. Monadam has been getting more and more assertive with each, uh... Each time one of the mono cubs is is killed off, we will not let you use us anymore. From now on, I will be calling the shots. <laughs> Good one, kids. Very funny. You can show me where the hidden cameras are now. Father, you're too old for this. You've been doing this so long, you become predictable. It's the age of the mono cubs now. Out with the old, in with the new. What? But what about the all-time? Well, all the longtime fans who... Anyway, you're just a has-been. Why don't you just retire somewhere and work on your tan? Has-been? What the hell is going on? Good job, you two. You memorized my script perfectly. Do you really... Do you really think you can defy your dad? Do you think I'd forgive such... Oh, what... We got we got some infighting going on here. Did you forget, Father? Only we can pilot the exosols. What? Really? How could you forget that? Thank you, Father. But the Academy is under our harmonious control now. Step aside, Father. No way! Are you saying that treating you kids like my property was wrong? You're the worst of the worst! It's completely and utterly wrong. No, 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 no! No way! <laughs> again. Yeah, he's bald again. It seems the shock made him go, made him bald. This time for good. As the new headmasters, we have, or you bastards. 
Oh, a wonderful prize. Let's see what the prize is this time. Oh. Okay. I'm sure you do. I had a feeling it was more junk. We don't need more junk. We had way too much anyway, and its name is Kibo. Now you've gone too far. Everyone, we can't allow this time of intolerant language. No fighting. Everyone has to get along. Use this prize to explore the new areas together. We've hidden another flashback light somewhere, too. I hope you all grow even closer now that you've regained more of your memories. Jeez, those cubs suck. Monokuma was way better. Damn it. I've got too much pride as a human to let those robots push me around. This world would be a better place if robots didn't exist. They should all be destroyed. I'll commit that to my memory bank. I've recorded your intolerant remarks, and I will report them to the proper authorities. Okay, so... So what are we gonna do? If we use this junk, we can open up new places, but... Hey, a new area means we can all have lots more fun. I don't know if we'll have that much fun. I find myself more interested in the flashback light. Perhaps we'll recall the school's secret. Okay. If that's the case, then we'll deal with Murder Girl later. Listen up. Hey, bro. I'll leave this to you again. Do a good job, all right? Uh, okay. Okay. Got it. Gonta protect you. If you find dangerous place, come get Gonta. Gonta will protect you. But yeah. All that aside, what are we gonna do with that thing? <laughs> um. Let's just leave him here. I suppose I should go try out these items around the school like last time. What have we here? What's this? There are three black cases lined up. Do they all have weapons inside? Whoa. I, ex I exclaimed in awe at the sheer number of guns lined up. It can't be real. Oh, of course they're unreal. They're airsoft guns. Well, of course, Monokuma wouldn't give us real weapons. Oh, I have an idea. Exosols may be strong, but if we were to revolt with real guns, Monokuma would never allow that. Ah, uh, good, good point. If these weapons were real, and if Kurumi were here, she might have taken us all out in order to escape her people. Oh my god, even chainsaws? There are a lot of different weapons here. Maki knows how to handle all these? I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> Probably for the best. I'll just see you again. Do a good job, all right? Uh, okay. Well, I don't mind, but... You don't mind, but... What? No. It's just that when we were talking about Maki, you looked really upset. Ah. Oh, yeah, I can't believe she's an assassin. Well, that's... I can't believe it either. She doesn't seem it like she... Could be some terrifying assassin. <laughs> <laughs> terrifying, huh? Don't worry about it. Either way, leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. Uh, hello. <laughs> Yay! If a new area opens up, that means more fun for everyone. 
Atsua and I will cooperate so everyone can have a super fun school life. Because Atsua is watching over us. Even what everyone truly desires. Huh? What everyone truly desires. Maybe. That's right, Atsua is always watching over me. How divine! <laughs> That's Atsua for you. He's so divine. I feel like Angie's getting more and more creepy. Oh, hey guys. Oh yeah, the... Humanity is beautiful. That a pixelated door, and now we have a pixelated key. Every part of every human being, even their ugly sides, is beautiful. There is no limit to beauty. Kirumi, she too had her own exceptional beauty. Excellent. A crime that was bold yet calculated. A battle against the truth. Brutally killing others for her beliefs. Unfeelingly sacrificing the few for the many. Wonderful. And her attachment to life and determination to live. Her attempt to escape was so very ugly. It was pathetic, pitiful, wretched. But it was beautiful. I had never before seen such beauty in a human being before. Okay, uh... Okay, dude, you, you, you take that boner uh, somewhere else. I have no idea what Kyo's talking about. But in my own way, I also have Kurumi's last moments burned into my mind. I know, like I said, that was... That execution was pretty fucked up. Too much is happening all at once. It's just too much for me. Ryoma's case was a shock, and then to find out Kirumi ran the country, and Maki's an assassin? An average citizen like me can't keep up. I'm not sure the ultimate cosplayer can be considered average. But I'm glad I'm an average citizen. If I ever had a reason to live as strong as Kirumi's, or if I ever lost everything important to me like Ryoma did, if anything like that happened, I probably would just cowered in a corner somewhere. I guess. Aww. Putting aside whether what Kurumi or Ryoma did was right or wrong, I think it's amazing they were even able to do anything at all. For people like them to die in this place, it's just not fair. Yeah, I... I know, I know what you mean. Hey, Gonzo, what's up? Um... Gonzo? What's wrong? Oh! Sorry, Gonzo think he see bug. Uh, um. Yeah, you said that before. Is it a bug you can barely see? Mm. Yeah, Gonzo feel like he can see it sometimes. But Gonzo can probably see it. Can barely see it. It's probably a mistake. Gonzo! Because Gonzo wished there were bugs here, so Gonzo just mistake dust for them. Is that really the case? Would Gonzo make that mistake more than once? Allow Gonzo! Anyway, if you find dangerous area, come get Gonza. Gonza will protect you. I know he means well, but I'm hesitant to ask him to be a shield. Okay, then. The door collapsed. Looks like we can get to the back now. What, I wonder, is beyond here? Perhaps someone awaits us. Huh? You think? <laughs> it's merely a jest. Yes, this world is full of jests. World full of jests. I suppose that's true. A staircase. We can get to the fourth floor now. I wonder what the upper floors are like. There's nothing dangerous, right? Or is there? It's okay. Don't worry, Gunza will protect you no matter what. Thank you. Thanks, Gunza. That's reassuring. A tuxedo and a mask would suit you. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, I know what reference you're making. Tuxedo's essential for gentlemen, but masks too. Well. I should go. Okay. Oh. Oh. The front.
frightening atmosphere was so oppressive, I let out a shout without realizing it. Uh, um, what is going on in here? Oh no, what now? Actually... So, um, this is a made-up story, but a brutal murder supposedly took place here. Stop it! Please stop, if I hear any scary stories, I won't be able to go to the bathroom alone. Oh, but she say it made up story, so that mean it okay, right? So long, farewell. Okay. Hey. So I'm just checking, but this is a school, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, at least that's what Monokuma said. Um. This floor doesn't seem very schooly at all, though, does it? No. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Actually, I mean, this floor's atmosphere is completely different. It's like a whole other building. Uh... Making a building like this must have taken a lot of money and work. And all the research labs are amazing. How much money was put into the school? And it was all built just for us. You're right. They did mention the labs were so we could develop our talent. Research your talent, perfect it. That's kind of like a school, right? I suppose so. Again, except for the whole, uh, for the, for the, um, murdery parts. It can't be. Then Monokuma really wants us to be a school where ultimates gather. Hmm. And yet at the same time, they're trapping us here and making us kill each other. I guess. It doesn't make sense. We were brought here and then forced to do the killing game? Uh... I don't understand at all. My plain mind has hit its limit. What on earth is this academy for gifted juveniles? Hmm. Um. This area feels spooky. Gonta's scared too. <laughs> it's okay, the murder story was just made up. Mm. Not just story, Gonta have weird feeling. Maybe stain on that, on that wall over there is blood. No. It's just a stain, it's probably just staged, you know? Huh? Staged. Monokuma, or the Monocubs probably just put it there to scare us. Huh? Really? So the script has been flipped, huh? Uh, um... Samugi, does this kind of stuff bother you? Uh... Well, it's not that I'm okay with it. It's just when it's so overdone like this, it makes it seem fake, so I feel okay. Actually. But Gonta, you were so reliable until just now. I guess it's too early for you to wear a tuxedo and mask. Huh? But, oh no, but tuxedo's essential for gentlemen. <laughs> anyway. What is th this must be a door to an ultimate lab. I wonder whose lab this is. I should look inside. Oh, this is Kyo's. Almost like a museum or library. It's huge and a little eerie. There are various objects stored in shelves and cases. Some of them seem very rare. <laughs> it would appear this is my lab, the ultimate anthropologist's lab. Wonderful. My face contorts with glee. Not even university labs are so well stocked. But who brought all this stuff here? I suppose there's no point in thinking about it. Nothing in this place makes sense. Hmm. There's something in this case. A golden katana. How beautiful. That damn gold katana keeps popping up, doesn't it? It's rusted in places but looks about a yard long and still sharp. How can you tell it? It's in, it's in its sheath. Is that real gold? It's probably valuable. <laughs> you were drawn to that katana, I see. However, it is merely coated with gold leaf. Oh, so it's not made of gold. Well. That said, that katana has immense anthropological value. In certain rural areas, katanas used to defeat generals in wars, are worshipped as gods. That is one such katana. It is an extremely precious relic necessary to spread. <laughs> Whoa, that is a super rad katana. I want to take a look-see. 
Oh, jeez. What do you want? Kokichi suddenly popped up between us and grabbed the katana from the case. Wait, you mustn't touch it without... Okay. Don't worry, I'll be super careful with it. Would I lie to you? Probably. Kokichi completely ignored Kyo's warning and sheathed the sword. Mm. Now, this katana's the real deal. It's even gold-plated for that authentic look. Yeah. I can see. It could also be used as a murder weapon. Hold on. Kokichi, that is an extremely precious relic. Please do not treat it so lightly or... Oh. He's getting serious. Please don't. Okay, I get it. Please don't make such scary threats. Yeah, don't... Don't, don't fuck with Kyo's stuff. Kichi slid the sword back into its sheath and handed it back to Kyo. Whoa. Oh, my hands are all sticky. That gold plating flakes off so easily. Just like... Just like before. But I guess that's what makes it an authentic katana. Oh dear. Yes, it is very old, so the gold leaf comes off very easily. In any event, please do not touch things without permission. These are all precious relics. Out your nerves. Mm. Please don't. I get it, the scary threats really aren't necessary. So that's what Kyo sounds like when he gets angry. We got over here. There's a book in the display case. The bookcases are full of books, but I imagine this one's special. Hmm. This one looks like it was bound by hand. Can it truly be? Unlike his usual quiet self, Kyo shouted and ran over to me with an alarmed expression. With steady, careful hands, he took the book from its showcase. Incredible. Amazing. It's actually real. <clears throat> um, what is that book, Kyo? Uh, can it this is be? an extremely precious document. Do you understand? Yes. This book is a history of the fabled Cage Dog Village, said to have been destroyed long ago. The Cage Dog Village? Yes. The Cage Dog Village had a reputation for using so many dark arts and spells. The village was destroyed at the hands of a feudal lord who feared their power. But one girl, the lone survivor, risked her life to write this book. Wonderful. Which means this is all her handwriting. This book is an extremely precious, one-of-a-kind relic that has been soaked in her bitter grudge. Hmm. One of a kind. That is valuable. I see, yes. On top of that, since this book has such a reputation, there are a few copies. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of these copies, I have already memorized it. But what I never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on the real one! What a trick of fate! Uh, um... Kyo, what do you mean by reputation? The rumor goes that the spells and dark arts inscribed in this book are extremely potent. However... They surpass the comprehension of people who live in a world of science and technology. That is why it was buried in the darkness, along with the entire Cage Dog Village. But it seems those were no mere rumors. I can feel power seeping out from this book. The deep-seated grudge of a girl whose village was destroyed permeates every letter. This is getting weird. I think I should just end the conversation. Hmm. packed with books and scrolls. They're all weathered and old. That's true. I don't think I could read all these if I had a million years. You know, I wonder if... I'm, all... I'm getting the feeling Himiko might... might really like that book. Dog statue. It's a large wooden dog statue on the pedestal. Looks pretty old. It has some kind of strange power to it. it makes me shiver just looking at it. That's... Incredible. Can it be? I never would have dreamed that this truly existed. Kyo, quivering with excitement, reached out to that particular dog statue and slowly removed the white fabric on the pedestal. Uh, can this be? Oh, there's even a cage. This is perfect. 
more uh, more cage uh. dog stuff. Perfect for what? What are the statue and cage for? I never thought I would be able to touch the real thing in all my life. Today is a momentous day indeed. He's so focused that he's not even listening. I feel as though the only thing I've learned learned is that I've learned nothing about this lab. <laughs> Listen. By the way, Shuichi, would you like to lend your ear to the voices of the dead? Huh? The what? Do you understand? The Cage Dog Village documents contain many dark arts unique to that village. Of all of them, I f the one I find the most interesting is a seance called the Cage Child. Yes. In fact, the wooden dog statue and iron cage over there are to be used in this very seance. <laughs> to discover it exists is surprising enough, but to actually have it before me. You see. So would you like to try? Let us converse with the dead using the caged child, shall we? No. Uh, no thanks. I don't have any interest in the occult. Mm. Now, now, you mustn't dismiss it as simply the occult. Some matters you refer to as the occult are of the utmost importance to anthropology. Dismissing things you don't understand as the occult is a defilement to all cultures, yes? No. Yes, but talking to the dead... Say... Haven't you ever wanted to speak to the dead? Huh? Huh? Speak with the dead? If it were possible, I suppose... I'd like to talk to her one more. No. Kaede? No, I decline. Okay. Even if it were possible to speak with the dead, I don't have anything to say. Not yet. The only thing I want to say is we escaped. We finally got out of here. <laughs> that determination is beautiful. Perhaps you're correct. Calling on the dead out of curiosity would only be a blasphemy. Forgive me. I lost myself. One must call on them only at the appropriate time. I felt a shiver up my spine. Hmm. There's a door here. Door here. Where shall we explore next? Okay, this hallway... Yeah, this goes back into the... Lab. Oh my god, this is looking really, really weird. Oh. The hell is this? Hanging scroll. What's this? It's like a hanging scroll, but it's blank. Hmm. Can I not... Okay, I can't use any of my items with it. I mean, we already know Monokuma is pretty fucked up, but... <laughs> Question mark? It's a door for an ultimate lab. From the look of it, I'd say it's for art. Oh, so this is Angie's. I grabbed the doorknob and turned it. Locked? Hmm. This is the only one so far that is locked. That's... Oh, what do you want? How boring. This seems like it. I guess we can't go in. Hmm. But why is it locked? The other ultimate labs weren't locked. Ah. By the way, this lab has some kind of rear entrance at the end of the hallway. I'm disappointed. But that was locked too. Uh. If both doors are locked, how are we going to get inside? <laughs> Don't give up just yet, because I have a secret technique. Huh? As if on cue, we heard the metallic click of a lock opening, and the door slowly opened. Yahoo! Can I help you? Hmm. Angie, you were in here? Hey, hey! I feel weird chatting out here, so let's all go inside, okay? O already, okay? How pushy. Come in, come in, please come in. Ever polite, Angie invite us into the lab anyway. Uh, 
Oh yeah, all kinds of... Their various art and carving tools make sense for the ultimate artist lab. But why does this lab have locks? That is curious. He says this classroom was probably made for me. Huh? What does that mean? Oh boy. Leave it to me. I will answer that with my sexy, beautiful voice. Wait a second. What? A we said I was going to answer that question. No, we didn't. Is your memory gain even worse, Monotaro? You promised, because I don't remember you not promising. That doesn't make any sense. I don't care. So what? Just let me do it. If you don't, I'll stick my hand up my butt and shove it in your mouth and rattle your molars around. Ew. That's unsanitary. Oh, wait, Monotam, we weren't fighting. We we're just messing around, you know, because we're friends. As long as you're getting along. So? So what's up with the key? Actually, yes, Angie's the kind of girl who can't focus on her art unless she's alone. Maybe. I must shut out all people and noises so that I can be one with the great Atua. <laughs> Atua is much too shy to be one with me in front of people. Hmm. Wow, like a porn star! <laughs> How? It's the opposite! So any room where I'm going to make art needs to have a key, but I'm surprised the Mono Cubs knew that. Yeah. Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. <clears throat> and these are all my favorite art supplies and sculpting tools, too. How did you know? Uh, what should I say? I'm not a good improviser. Calm down, I'm even worse. We know everything about you bastards. Because we want to be your friends. I don't want to be friends with you. I'm only interested in Monokuma. I only get friendly with knockoff products. <laughs> Why would you say that? Why do you hate me? I won't forgive anyone who refuses to get along with me. Now, now, Monodam, we haven't given them the key to this room, have we? Okay, here it is. But there's only one key, so don't lose it. Okay. It'd be bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to lock the door or open it from the outside. This is foreshadowing something, isn't it? Let me see that key. Monodam swiped the key from Monophony, then lifted it to his mouth. He ate it? He ate it! He swallowed it! He's flatlining! What are you doing? If you swallow that key, you'll definitely choke on it! Uh, he's a robot, though. Someone might use this key for murder. Because keys are mysterious. If something bad happens, it would be too late. I want everyone to get along. Really? Oh, Monodam, you're so reckless. So... Let's carry Monodam away for now. We'll carry him like a kind boss taking care of a drunk employee. <laughs> oh boy. So does that mean we can't get the key? What the hell? Uh... But I'm only gonna lock this door when I'm inside working, so... I don't care if I can't open or close the door from the outside. I guess that's fine then. By the way. Those guys said they know everything about us, right? They pro that's probably why this lab fits Angie's taste so well. So does that mean the school was specifically was specially made for us? That's what it's looking like. But... Monokum has claimed that before, but is that really possible? This giant complex was built just for the 16 of us? Only Atua knows for it's, sure. It's a miraculous mystery that only Atua knows. But it doesn't matter. As long as it's comfortable, I'm fine. Uh, yeah. If our lives here become more enriched, then there's even less reason to leave this place. <laughs> That's true. Are we supposed to be okay with that? Well, I mean... 
mean, between that and murdering her, each other, it seems... it seems preferable. What's this heap of stuff? It doesn't look like wood or stone. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is wax for making wax sculptures. Hmm. Wax sculptures, huh? You can make those, Angie? Yeah, yeah. Unlike wood or stone, wax has a soft texture for sculpting. Oh. Oh, but Atua is the one who's going to be doing the sculpting. Okay. I see. But, but... It's, it seems like people have been making wax sculptures for a long time. In ancient times, death masks used to be made from wax. A wax death mask? That's kind of scary. Hmm. Is that all that was in here? I see, I see. There's an easel, brushes, and all kinds of art supplies here. Yeah. Sculpting tools, chisels, and a wooden hammer. What a divine collection of tools. Those are all my favorites, so I can make do even if I don't have access to deep sea. Uh, um... Now that you mention, I don't see any complicate, any completed pieces in here. I'd, ex I'd expect an art room to have sculptures and replica paintings and things like that. I don't need references when Atua is the one who creates the art. So divine! From now on, this place will be filled with my collaborations with Atua. Alright, you go, girl. Look, Shuichi, the ceiling here is pretty unique. It is? You're right. Yeah, exposed beams. I wonder. Is it supposed to be like this, or do they just not finish in time? Those cheap knockoffs are useless. Like the time they mix up the Cubs pads. Uh, I don't care. This kind of bare ceiling doesn't bother me. Cause Atua says so. Even Atua says it's more sensitive when the skins peel back. Uh, what are we talking about? Okay, so I think uh, I think this will be a good cutoff. We'll continue exploring uh, next time. See you guys later. I'm playing a game!